10 Facts About Apollo 11 Mission Rise of Communication Hello there, space enthusiasts, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a special treat for all you stargazers and history buffs. We're going to dive deep into the incredible Apollo 11 mission, which marked a giant leap for mankind. Yes, you guessed it. We're talking about the top 10 facts about the Apollo 11 mission. So make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get started. Fact number one, the launch of Apollo 11. On July 16, 1969, the world held its breath as the countdown to history began. Apollo 11, NASA's fifth crewed mission, was scheduled to launch from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The tension was palpable as millions of people gathered to witness this monumental event. Then, at 9.32 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the moment of liftoff arrived. The Saturn V's engines roared to life, and with a deafening thunder, it began its ascent into the heavens. The ground shook as the rocket soared, and you could feel the energy in the air. Fact number two, the crew members. The core crew of Apollo 11 consisted of three brave astronauts, each with a unique role in this historic mission. They were Neil Armstrong, Edwin Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. Let's get to know them a little better. Neil Armstrong, a seasoned astronaut and a test pilot, was selected as the mission commander. Born on August 5, 1930, in Wapakoneta, Ohio, Armstrong was known for his cool demeanor and exceptional piloting skills. He would go on to become the first person to set foot on the lunar surface. Buzz Aldrin, born Edwin Eugene Aldrin Jr. on January 20, 1930, in Montclair, New Jersey, was the lunar module pilot. Aldrin was not only a skilled astronaut, but also a visionary engineer. He followed Neil Armstrong onto the moon, becoming the second human to walk on the lunar surface. Michael Collins, born on October 31, 1930, in Rome, Italy, was the command module pilot of Apollo 11. Collins had a crucial role, as he remained in lunar orbit while Armstrong and Aldrin descended to the moon. His role was essential for the safe rendezvous and return to Earth. Fact number three, the lunar module. The lunar module, named Eagle, was used to land on the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin descended in it while Michael Collins orbited above in the command module. Armstrong's famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind were spoken as he stepped onto the moon's surface. Fact number four, the moon's landscape. The moon's landscape is strikingly barren. It lacks the lush vegetation, oceans, and atmosphere we're accustomed to on Earth. Instead, it's covered in a fine layer of dust and countless craters, making it a challenging but captivating place to explore. The moon's surface is pockmarked with countless impact craters of all sizes. These craters were formed by asteroids and meteoroids colliding with the moon over billions of years. They provide invaluable insights into the history of our solar system. The moon's surface is covered in a layer of fine, powdery dust known as regolith. This regolith, made of tiny glassy particles, clung to the spacesuits and equipment of the Apollo astronauts, providing a unique challenge during their missions. Fact number 5. Earthrise one of the most iconic moments from the mission was when the astronauts witnessed an Earthrise, the Earth rising over the moon's horizon. It provided a stunning perspective on our home planet from the lunar surface. Fact number six, the ascent. After their historic moonwalk, the lunar module had to ascend and dock with the command module in lunar orbit. This was a critical and nerve-wracking phase, but the astronauts successfully reconnected with Michael Collins. Fact number seven, the return home. The only part of Apollo 11 that would return to Earth was the command module, aptly named Columbia. This conical spacecraft housed the astronauts, their life support systems, and the precious moon rock samples they collected. After a successful liftoff from the lunar surface, the lunar module's ascent stage was left behind in lunar orbit. It was no longer needed for the return journey and eventually crashed back onto the moon. The journey back to Earth was a lengthy one, taking several days. The astronauts had to carefully plot their course and ensure that they would re-enter Earth's atmosphere at the right angle and speed for a safe landing. Fact number eight, quarantine. 
to prevent any potential contamination from the moon. The astronauts spent several days in quarantine upon their return to Earth. This precaution was taken until it was determined they were not carrying any lunar pathogens. Fact number 9. The Lunar Plaque Before leaving the moon, Armstrong and Aldrin left a plaque on the lunar module that read, Here men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon. July 1969 aid, we came in peace for all mankind. A beautiful sentiment, wouldn't you agree? Fact number 10. The Legacy Apollo 11 became a symbol of human achievement and ambition. It showed that when we set our sights on the stars, we can accomplish the seemingly impossible. This spirit of exploration continues to inspire generations. The technological innovations developed for Apollo 11 had far-reaching effects. Advances in computer technology, material science, and space-related research have found applications in countless industries, from medicine to communications. And there you have it, folks, the top 10 facts about the Apollo 11 mission. If you found this video as fascinating as we did, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share it with your fellow space enthusiasts. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep looking up at the stars.